Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech Channel, and today what we're going to be looking at is how to add R22 refrigerant into an outdoor condenser that's a little low um, on refrigerant. So, this system right here, we have a temp probe on the liquid line. All right, we're reading 92 degrees roughly. All right, our head pressure is at 103 degrees uh, saturated state for R22. We know we can check on our liquid side, okay, to, to figure out what the charge is because the unit inside has a uh, thermostatic expansion valve. It does not have a piston. If it had a piston or an orifice, you'd be checking superheat on your vapor side. We're not gonna be doing that because this unit has a TXV. So we're gonna be using the head pressure side right here and here in order to determine what the subcooling reading is. And then dependent upon that, we either add or take out refrigerant. So right now, uh, this saturated temperature, if you follow 205 PSIG over to the green saturated temp, the saturated temp for R22 says 103 degrees saturated state. So we have our uh, hose attached right here at the service port. It's actually trying to read the saturated temperature condition right in this area of the condenser. Right after it turns into a liquid, between here and where it comes out at is going to be your subcooling reading, the temperature decrease in liquid form. So if it's 103 degrees at its saturated condition where vapor and liquid still exist, all right, after it completely turns into a liquid from there until it comes out, it's decreased to 93 degrees roughly. Okay, so we have dropped 10 degrees in liquid form. So that is subcooling. Subcooling is a temperature decrease in liquid form. All right. Our rating plate's calling for 15. We have 10 degrees of subcoin, so we're going to need to add refrigerant. The subcoin's a little low. We need to at least get within three degrees plus or minus of the actual rating. So anywhere from say 12 to 18 would be sufficient. Um, I, I usually like to get just maybe a degree above uh, whatever uh, the rating is. So if it's calling for 15, I like to get it at 16. If it's calling for 10, I like to get it at 11 or so, uh, right around in there. So. We have our R22 bottle right here, and we have a scale below it. All right, we're going to need the scale because we need to know how much to charge the homeowner. All right, if you do not have a scale, you're just guessing, okay? And they're going to know that you're really not weighing the refrigerant in. All right, so we're going to check it. We're going to attach our hose. We're going to open this up. Now the refrigerant bottle is open. All right. We're going to let any air out of the line right here. And we should have already let the air out of the lines from attaching an empty gauge set, but we're going to just going to check it. Okay. We let a little bit of air out. All right. So that is refrigerant. So we're just letting any air out of the system uh, to make sure that we're not putting air into our outdoor unit. All right, that's the amount that you're actually allowed to vent just to make sure that, you know, anytime you're attaching your service hoses, you're not putting air uh, or nitrogen or something like that into the outdoor unit or into a recovery bottle. In this case, we're gonna flip the bottle upside down. All right, and we're gonna check We can zero the scale out now when it turns on here. Yep, it's at zero right now. And hopefully you can see that. All right. So we're at zero right now. The point of us having a vaporizer on is because we have liquid refrigerant in the R22 bottle and we want to turn it into vapor before it goes into our compressor. All right, it's a vapor compressor. So that means uh, medium, you know, low pressure, uh, low temperature vapor coming in or medium temperature, medium pressure coming into the compressor. It comes out at its highest pressure and temperature on the whole system, it's on the discharge line, but it comes in as vapor and comes out as high temperature vapor, no liquid. Uh, that's going to hurt the compressor. So we're going to go ahead and charge this a little at a time. All right. So we're going to add our refrigerant into our blue hose right here. Okay. We're going to add just a little bit at a time. And we're going to put our 
tent pro back up here. You just do a little at a time just to make sure that your vaporizer has a chance to vaporize the liquid refrigerant in the vapor before it goes into the compressor. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more refrigerant. All right, now you see our scales registering roughly right about uh, 0.5 ounces, not that much yet. Okay, but we're going to get there. Remember that we attached the R22 bottle when it was upright, and you're allowed to do that. You can actually charge R22 in vapor or liquid form. Uh, so we had a little bit of vapor in the service hose, which is right here, and uh, that doesn't weigh very much. So once we get the vapor refrigerant out of the line, now it's going to be liquid refrigerant coming in here, and our scale is going to start reading a lot, a lot more weight uh, going into our system. Presently, we are at 103 degrees for our green saturated temperature, and um, our temperature has gone up a little bit, okay? But what happens is normally when you add refrigerant, the temperature goes down, then it comes up, and then it comes to a final uh, lower position. But we know we're gonna need to add a little bit of refrigerant to this thing, all right? If you did not have a vaporizer, you gotta move that handle really quick. And still, even though you saw, you saw me open it and I did close it, but it did just take a little bit of time for the pressure to lower. All right, I didn't have it open the entire time right there. All right, we're at 0.8 ounces that we've weighed in so far. Temperature is 94.5. Gonna add a little bit more in. All right, and shut it. Okay. Our vaporizer's doing a good job. I don't hear the compressor complaining right now because usually it'll make a little whining noise if, it was, uh, if liquid was gonna go in there. All right, we don't want that noise, all right? So we're gonna continue checking the subcooling, but you do wanna give it a little bit of time. Uh, time is a key thing. If you find that it's not moving, maybe you should give it a little bit of time, walk away and continue working on something else, all right? Um, not too far, obviously you wanna, you know, just make sure everything's safe, but uh, you know, you can, there's always something else to do, you know, servicing. I'm also assuming, you know, it is, low on refrigerant that you have checked with bubble leak detector uh, at least the easiest joints to find. Um, you want to start off with there and then you can move to electronic leak detector you know in the evaporator coil all that type of stuff but if it's only a little bit low it might have just been uh, serviced many a times and every time somebody's put the gauge set on they pulled a little bit of refrigerant out. All right that may be it. All right so we really only have added 1.1 ounces so far and this system right here has about six pounds in it uh, from, from the factory. So uh, that system right there, six pounds, we're only added one ounce in. That's not a whole lot of refrigerant uh, that we're adding in quite yet. All right, right now we're at 104 degrees saturated temperature. We're at 94. Our charge has not quite moved yet. So we're just gonna continue adding a little bit. And remember, I am doing this a little bit fast just because, you know, you guys are are watching this you don't want to watch like you know an hour long video here um, not that it should take an hour long but you know half an hour or something like that charge a unit um, you know once again give it a little bit of time so at about 104 Keep checking it here. All right, this is just a cheapy scale. Um, some of the better scales have a little hose port on them so that the tank uh, can get, the R22 tank can go directly into the scale port. And then there's another port where it comes out. And all that does is isolate the weight. Uh, because if you start moving these gauge sets around, that's gonna move uh, the electronic charging scale uh, weight around as well, just because it's all attached to each other. All right, still, so what's going to happen is as we charge this, this head pressure is going to go up and this temperature should eventually go down. But this is how you do it. And then you just got to give it a little bit of time in between. That's it. All right, we're at 2.7 ounces, 16 ounces per pound. All right, so it's not a whole lot of refrigerant compared to the amount that's in here. 